Guys, Doc Dosa here bringing you a matchup, a uh, tournament matchup, the FNN tournament between uh, Doc Dosa versus Henry Zayas. Let's get a pop in. We're showing up our uh, our attributes to make sure that we're even, evenly sized up and everything and all that mumbo jumbo. Alright, looks good so far. And let's go to the welterweight. What's cool? I, I know he's a welterweight already. Let's do it. Let's get a pop in. Uh, good luck to Henry Zayas and good luck to me. We're both very good opponents and uh, let's hope. Uh, Let's hope I win. <laughs> no, but you know, whatever happens, happens, and uh, let the chips fall where they may. Yeah, that fight between um, AC Carnage, there's been a lot of good fights going on, but that fight between AC Carnage and David the Root one, that was a really good fight, man. Uh, Carnage pulled it out, man. His game plan worked. Um, I know people saying that if it would have been 12 rounds, you know, if it would have been 12 rounds, Carnage would have played it much different, you know what I mean? You, you kind of make the game plan for the rounds you're fighting for, so even though they said, oh yeah, one more round, and uh, David could have had it. Uh, I don't know, but what I do know is that that David, I mean that, sorry, that uh, AC Carnage would have fought slightly different, you know, if it was 12 rounds, he, you know, he, everybody fights different once we know the amount of rounds, you know. I mean, we do make the 10, we, we do make mistakes, but AC Carnage isn't one of those people, you know what I mean, he ain't no noob. <laughs> Nice, nice record. Always nice. Thank you, um, Fight Nice Finest, thank you. Yeah, it, it's been a good tournament. I, I, I give them props, man. Him and David for getting this together, getting some of the fighters back, you know, getting us back into action, uh, training, you know, getting us doing, doing something, you know, something uh, for the benefit of the game, you know, just to highlight. The, the beautiful aspects of this game. This game is ridiculous. Uh, I can't think of a game that's more fun than this. You know, I play Grand Theft Auto Five and everything, but this game is this game is it, though. You know, Whew, okay, a little guys. nervous and uh, we let's get it popping. I'm probably gonna stop talking touch touch because I need to concentrate. Oof, there goes that uppercut. Yeah, these southpaw versus orthodox fighters, so many times we've heard how useful the right hand can be in this match. Yeah, usually trainers love to tell orthodox fighters against the southpaw that the right hand is the dragon slayer. Nice two punch combo by the greatest. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Oh, spending way too much energy. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Spending way too much energy. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That was a good combo by him. There he is zoning in, the old one-two. Keep working the body. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Fires one right back after Ooh. taking one. Gotta love the work. Because that power straight, I'll come in way too late, way too ugly. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Able to cover up that gut. 
Ooh, beautiful by him, man. I, I walked in like an idiot, throwing, trying to jump in, and uh, it never works out when you jump in, man. And I still do it. I should probably be saving my stamina. Went a little crazy. He took this round, I shouldn't have. Shouldn't, shouldn't try to take it back, you know. I'll end up catching myself in a stamina hole. Really Lose too much stamina. <sighs> good round, good round. Round one to him. Let's get it going. Reyes's bounce is back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. Look at that combination by Reyes. Jump on. Nice. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Oh, man, I keep on getting caught with the uppercut. Targeted two punch combo by Reyes. The executioner's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Targeting that midsection now with a combo. Watch that part. Halfway through this round here. Try to conserve stamina. Might be moving a little bit too much. I think I need to be a little more... Uh, keep my feet planted on the ground a little more. Reyes is basically giving you the impression that he's a little tentative to throw punches based on what happened earlier when he got hurt. Yeah, he's got to find a way now to not give up the offense that he had earlier. He wants to go into a defensive mode a little bit, but if he gives up that offense, he'll fall too far behind to get to that no man's land where he'll need a knockout to win, and he doesn't have that kind of power. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Yeah, ugly with me. Final 10 seconds. You need to work on that body. Uh, maybe I used a little bit too much stamina. I need to relax, uh, Listen, calm myself down a little jab. bit. That's right. Take your jab. When he throws the jab, you go. Oh, excuse me. So I'm just using a little uh, 10 seconds or so, or a little bit more, just to, to, to calm my nerves and uh, drink, a, drink a beer real quick. Or at least a drink. <laughs> That was good movement by him. Oof. Reyes is gonna think about I'm smashing that one. Throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Way too much. Way too predictable of that. Hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Lovely by me.
Oof, throwing way too many punches. Gotta relax, calm down. Ten seconds to go in this oh, round. Okay. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the executioner. Oof. You gotta let your hands go. You have to. Losing. You have to be busy. This guy's beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four. Yeah, good round, good round, AG. We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work race, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time clean, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano. You know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was flicking their blood cycles. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was flicking their blood cycles. And they, they couldn't keep their arms off by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. Reyes' combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Sorry, I am running a little. Not, I don't know if I'm running now. But. I can't fight the inside game with him. He's too, he's too, uh, too quick. Smaller than me. Right there, but he also gave one solid effort by the executioner. Ah, doing way too many punches. Reyes's combination punching is working well here. I don't know who took Reyes that round. Reyes is in position to win this fight. Trust me when I say that. It's a close fight. He may be trailing, but he could go out there and still take this. Just gotta relax and uh, take this fight slow. Gotta work my jab. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining. But I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by the greatest. That was beautiful by him. I got caught up in his... Uh... Scheme is combo. On the mark with a straight left hand. The greatest got that catch me if you can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to lay in a headshot. But his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving good the shit. Easy, that was good. Straight shots. He's weaving Fuck me up with that because he's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Beautiful. Fucking I'm getting caught up. He snaps a jab. Nice strike after catching one by the executioner. Keep working the body. Gotta work my straight anymore. I don't I hardly work my I think this is the first round where I've actually even thrown it, if it, like by itself at least. Side, side. The great is so dangerous with that accuracy of this punch combination later. Oops. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. 
Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Good job with another left hand. Damn, good fight, good round. The greatest is corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They Damn, I lost another round. round. They put down a beat down yeah. on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, when you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. Good one, too, by the greatest. Oh. I gotta catch him in the counter. Ugly by me. The greatest landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Keep working, bud. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Beautiful by him. Towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. Ah! Damn it, good round. Fuck. And round seven comes to an end. You got power. You fuck. Fuck. Good fight, man. I don't even want to talk to you. Jump on him in this 
round, all right? Plus, it's just a good, solid yeah, fight. Yeah, he's beating yes, me, man. Leading on your scorecard here as we begin round number eight. But there has been some back and forth, some give and take. His opponent has found some kicks in the armor, namely that right hand over the jet. He gets off with a combination up top. combination to the body. The greatest is really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar and so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes rounds and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by the greatest. Watch the hook! Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. It's all right. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. He's dominating me in this round. Okay. Ugly by me. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the greatest. Now that is fighting right there. It's smart fighting. Landing all four punches. Oh, I suck, man. Damn it. Clean and crisp. That is the way to describe the punching we've seen out of him tonight. Not much left in this fight. There's any not much doubt as to who's controlling him. No, a triangle is better than a square. Why? More size. And he has shown me a lot of size. Given angles, counter punching, working inside, working outside. That's why he's the man. Yeah, I fucked up. I kind of got caught up in his game and I stopped counter punching. So I'm not to try to work my counter punching. Watch that punch. Missed with the headshot. The greatest is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Reyes is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Locks away that headshot. The executioner is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Great taste in this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. This is why the fans love this game when it's at its absolute best. This crowd can't get any better, yet they're trying to make it better. And he's wearing us out. Imagine what they feel like. Well timed by the greatest. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. And a nice combo by Reyes. At this point, I start to question what happened in training. Nice. He's he fucking up. You know what? I fell for that. Cause I was I was moving away from him the whole entire fight. Nah, there's no excuses. But then I started chasing him, and then once I started chasing him, I started losing the fight. It's gonna be one round, but I'm just not gonna chase him this round. We just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes 
can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it anymore. I would have won if I wouldn't have chased him. Out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who's like caught up though. Nah, I wouldn't know. I don't know. Coulda, woulda, but I didn't. But you know what? I'm not giving up yet. When we were training fighters, he used to always say, look, you know you're a banger, and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, see, now, see, clean, you know hurt, I have to chase him, and that's why I lost. I, like I chased him, and I fucked up, up, and I, I could have had this fucking fight. Fucked up, so dude. See, I, they go after him, and I, even if he's not that's, what he's, that's what he's good at. Fighting people off. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. He carries the punch, comes back with the hook. Damn, good one. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five. Reyes is back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. He just missed that shot up top. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by the executioner. Barry, what a shot. And yet another big shot from Barry. I fought him though. I didn't want to. Could have ran in, but I wanted to see if I had a chance to. Can he beat the count? Right now he's thinking about another line of employment. This was an easy fight to score. Yeah, good fight, HC. Good fight. After that effort. Well, you never know in this I hope you do good in this tournament, man. I hope my man AC does his shit. Do this shit, AC. Knock these motherfuckers out. <laughs> nah, yeah. You know what? I, I got beat down. Uh, good fight, AC. Um, the tournament is a bunch of good fighters in there. And it comes to show that even me, you know, I'm not the best, but uh, but he, he outbested me today. Good fight, you know, and good luck to the rest of the people that are still in the tournament. Um, Keep going and uh, let's make this shit happen, man. Let's make this uh, fight night game better than what it already is. <laughs> Alright, so until next time, guys. If you like, like. If you want to see more, subscribe uh, and keep in with the keep in tune with the tournament at Fight Night's Finest. I think he's, he's the one that's going to be uh, pretty much uh, commentating over the whole the whole thing. Commissioner, I guess you could say. Alright, until next time, guys. Have a good one. Thanks.